I'll tell you what, I'm pumped up on this Friday because we have another locked and loaded Golden State Warriors today coming your way, diving into all of the latest news and rumors. But first, let's do a real one roll call. Appreciate all of you as members of the Chat Sports family, Dub Nation family here at Chat Sports, for supporting everything that we've done this summer on Warriors Today. We entered the offseason with 30,000 subscribers. Now we're approaching 45,000. And everybody who supported us watched our videos taking in our content, you're a real one. And because the real one movement is so real, we decided, hey, why not? Let's make some real one t-shirts so that you can support the show and you can be about that lifestyle and show everybody out there that you are in fact keeping it 100 and you're a real one. So if you want these shirts available in Warriors Blue as well as Black, you see the link down below, chatsports.com slash real one. I'll put it in the comment section and the description of this video. Without further ado, let's start the show. Coming up on Golden State Warriors today, a Kevin Durant update. Could Golden State be urged to make a Durant trade due to future salary cap implications? We're going to dive into that as well as what Steve Kerr had to say about some of the new free agent acquisitions for the reigning NBA champions. But first, today's show is sponsored by Mint Mobile. Remember when Klay Thompson dropped 60 points on 11 dribbles? It was one of the greatest performances of all time. And his range that, that night was as good as Mint Mobile range on America's largest 5G network plan starting as low as $15 per month with unlimited talk and text start saving money today by heading to mintmobile.com slash chat sports today's presenting sponsor so we begin with this and just want to get you caught up on the latest with Kevin Durant because trade rumors of him being sent back to the Bay Area to the reigning NBA champions are back. Mercury News dubs insider Dieter Kurtenbach looked at Golden State's future timeline financially and some of the question marks that they have that they have to answer on this roster and kind of approached his piece with this. Is the Warriors' plan realistic both financially and logistically considering the luxury tax penalties? And he looked at a Kevin Durant trade as something that could immediately solve issues for the Warriors and help them maximize this roster and win a couple of championships over the next couple of years because the Warriors would be favorites if they landed Kevin Durant. Here are the future contract extensions coming up either this offseason, the offseason after that, or upcoming over the next couple of years. Warriors have some difficult business decisions to make when it pertains to some vets like Draymond Green, Jordan Poole, Klay Thompson, but also some young players in James Wiseman, Jonathan Kaminga, as well as Moses Moody. If you want to retain all these guys, they're going to have to come back and they're going to have to re-sign under some pretty large contracts in order for you to continue to keep this core together. But on the other side of that, if you can't afford all of these players and you don't want to sign all of them because it's really difficult to manage that with the luxury tax as well as the salary cap as Golden State this year could be at a record high $400 million in payroll, one solution, go all in right now. Trade for Kevin Durant, win titles, get rid of some of those pieces so you don't have to pay them, and then worry about the rest later. Here's what the Mercury News said about a potential KD trade and the idea of it. The Warriors can try to thread the needle if they want to. They can test fate and try to offload Jordan Poole or Andrew Wiggins or even Draymond Green, or they can solve the problem right here, right now by committing to one timeline and trading for Kevin Durant. The Dubs have always had the best possible trade package for Durant. That hasn't changed over the last month. It's just become clear how difficult it will be to keep the Warriors' two timelines together. Lastly, if the Dubs ship off their middle class of players, like Poole, like Wiggins, and one of their super young players, say Jonathan Kaminga or James Wiseman, the Warriors can maintain, if not expand, their championship window in the present while keeping it open in the post-Curry future. This has always made sense for the Warriors' timeline. You just won the NBA title, albeit you did it without Kevin Durant, but if you bring him in, you're the best team in the Western Conference. So it's always made sense for the Warriors. They have the trade assets. They have the players that could appease the Brooklyn Nets in a deal. The only question is, would the Warriors actually want to do it considering 
They just got the hardware without KD. Golden State has the assets to trade for Durant. And KD would make them favorites to win the title, and frankly, I don't think it would be close. There isn't a roadblock in the Western Conference that could stop what Golden State could do with Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and Kevin Durant. We've seen it before. We know that they can run it back and get back to that flawless, selfless, beautiful style of basketball. That's why it's so appealing and so attractive. The idea is about the Warriors maybe trading for KD because they've seen it before. They know it could happen, and we know probably what would happen. The Warriors would once again be making it to the NBA Finals with yet another opportunity to win a championship and you don't have to worry about all of those contract extensions because you're pushing your poker chips into the middle of the table and you're trying to maximize the Steph Curry window. Coming up next on the show, Steve Kerr talking for the first time about Dante DiVincenzo as well as Jermichael Green. We'll take a look at what he had to say about some of those acquisitions. But first, if you love the Golden State Warriors and you're pumped up that they're celebrating yet another NBA championship and you also like our content, I want you to hit that thumbs up icon and like the video. This basketball team has been on an unbelievable dynastic run. And you know what the great news is? It's not ending anytime soon. That's why you got to hit that thumbs up icon and like the video because there's a lot to be excited about. Warriors Today, sponsored by Mint Mobile, hanging out, living on America's largest 5G network. Remember when Klay Thompson, in that historic night at the Oracle, dropped 60 points on 11 dribbles. He was popping trade ball after trade ball. It was one of the most impressive offensive performances that we've ever seen. And his range that night had to be superior because he didn't dribble the basketball, only put it on the deck 11 times, yet he was still making it rain from downtown. Mint Mobile's making it rain, and in the process, changing the cell phone game with plans as low as $15 per month on America's largest 5G network. Their coverage spanning as long as Clay distances range from downtown. MintMobile.com slash chat sports. During this time when people are trying to cut costs and save money, Mint Mobile is helping you out with those affordable cell phone plans. MintMobile.com slash chat sports. So Steve Kerr talking Dante DiVincenzo. And I love the signing when it was first made official during NBA free agency because DiVincenzo is a good player who I think can play better and get maximized in this warrior system. And helps fulfill the role that you no longer have for Gary Payton II because he signed that big deal, $9 million per year with the Portland Trailblazers. Steve Kerr agrees with me, saying this about DiVincenzo. Dante is a perfect fit for the way that we play. The ball movement, the cutting, he's a great cutter. He's a really good spot-up shooter. He's a good passer on the move. He's not just a spot-up shooter. He's a secondary playmaker, pretty bouncy, but with a great feel for the game, he's going to fit right in. And the Warriors, for them to get him, on that salary, basically a prove-it deal, I believe around $4 million, extraordinarily high value for DiVincenzo. Really good athlete, really good playmaker, sneakily good on that end because he can put the ball on the floor. The three-point numbers have been down. Will they increase with the Golden State Warriors because he'll get more open looks and they just do a great job of developing players? And defensively, he's a good enough athlete where he can get the job done on that end for that second unit and gives you that much-needed athleticism for that second unit. So I really like the signing of DiVincenzo. Steve Kerr does as well. I thought Jermichael Green was another sneaky good acquisition as well for a lot of the same reasons that I said with Dante Vincenzo in terms of his overall impact on the floor. Jermichael Green has good size. He's played in a bunch of big playoff games. He can knock down threes. He can defend. He can fulfill a couple of different positions on the floor and guard multiple positions. And it all comes down to fit. So when I say I like Green and DiVincenzo for the same reasons, I like them both because of fit. And I think that Green will really fit in nicely. Steve Kerr on him. He's the logical replacement for Otto Porter Jr. and Amanya Bialica, which is exactly what I said a couple weeks ago. One guy replacing two. He's capable of of sort of playing either role, the four or the five. If he's playing with Draymond, he can stretch the floor and can guard the five. While Draymond guards the four, he gives us front court flexibility. I mean, my basketball knowledge, like I could be the head coach of the Golden State Warriors because everything I said, Steve Kerr also echoed those sentiments. And that's what I said about Jermichael Green when the signing was made official. Just kidding around. Steve Kerr, a great basketball mind and one of the best overall basketball guys of all time. Winning those championships with the Chicago Bulls. San Antonio Spurs, great executive with the Phoenix Suns, and now four NBA championships with the Dubs. 
So grade the Warriors' free agency period, which included the signings of Dante DiVincenzo as well as Jamichael Green on a scale of A, B, C, D, or F. As always, appreciate all of you for tuning in, supporting the show. Real one roll call. Get yourself a shirt and be a part of the movement and make sure you subscribe.